All right, check it out. We have a vessel sink here. There are three types of sinks in the market. There's a top mount, the under mount, and this is a vessel sink. Okay, uh, these sinks are very prone to leaks, so you need to know how to put it together properly to prevent any leakage and any movement. As you can see, this sink slides around the table and, and that's not what it's supposed to do. Okay, uh, we have taken it apart and re, re silicone the entire fitting together again. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, as you can see, the, the silicone is put on the outer, outer part of the sink all around and that's not the right way to do it. What you want is for the silicone to be between the sink and the countertop and it would act like a, like a glue. Just gluing the perimeter doesn't work and as you can see the sink would rotate around its base and because of that water will get in and bad things will start happening. Okay, so here we are taking a look at the underside of the sink. The sink top is moving and we are unable to um, glue it down if it's still attached to the plumbing. So we do have to remove the uh, bottle trap, but not the whole thing. This is a retaining ring. So you give that a twist first to loosen it and then you remove this part like that. Okay, And if all goes well, ooh, that's a nasty clog. Okay, so sometimes if you're lucky, you see that and that's a clog. All right, it's hair and gunk and dirt. You just give that a tug, it should pull right off. You get all this stuff in there. But this is a good opportunity to unclog your sink before anything worse happens. So the plumbing has been disconnected. I'm going to be taking off the, the sink, flip it around and put it somewhere safe. Um, okay. Right now, you have all the mold and stuff that has grown over the ages. You got to clean all this up, and then uh, we'll apply a new bead of silicone and put the tap, put the sink back together again. Okay, so as after cleaning up as much gunk as you can, you want to go ahead and alcohol the top of the surface. This removes any soap residue. Your silicone will not stick to soap residue, so you want to get that off. Okay, same thing, you want to do the same to the underside of the sink. Okay, so notice the old silicone that they put up here, you know, soap has gone inside it. So we need to clean this up. Same thing, as much as we can, and we silicone the inside. As you, as you notice, they applied the waterproofing around the outside edge. You know, this is not what's supposed. This is right, but you know, after time this has come off. But to properly fix it, we have to glue it back again. So what you want to do is scrape off as much of the old uh, silicone as you can. Uh, that gives a better area for the new stuff to stick on. Uh, you also want to wipe down with uh, a bit of alcohol to remove some of the soap so that new silicone can stick better and won't peel off so soon. Okay, so we've got the alcohol all done. Just letting it dry for a little bit. I've got my fan here to dry up the, uh, the base of the tap. Then we will uh, put it back together again. The silicone I'm using is this no mold silicone it says uh, shower ready in one hour so you give it about an hour it should be ready uh, but I usually give it two just for good measure okay we're gonna flip this over now what you want is to go straight down into the hole without much shimmying around because you do not want to be spreading the silicone all over your your countertop so here we go straight down okay make sure it's centered and 
And there you go. So we just put all the uh, attachments back together again. You connect the drain. So starting from the top, you tighten the top one until it's just about finger tight. Yep, you don't want to over tighten it. And then you tighten the bottom one. Same thing, you'd want it to be too tight. Just enough to prevent any leaks coming down from the side. Okay, if you did that right, you should be able to give it a splash down. Ah. And the sink is done. We'll put the cupboard doors back and it's good as new. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.